Alright guys, well this is my new daily driver, a 1994 Land Cruiser. If you guys don't know anything about Land Cruisers, Land Cruisers are basically what made Toyota what it is now. Uh, they started back in the late, I believe late 50s, trying to make a copy of the Jeep. That's why it was called, things like that. That's why it's FJ, I believe. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that because I don't know too much exactly everything, the history about Land Cruisers. But this is the 80 series, which started in 1991 all the way to 97. This particular one's a 94, making it the FCJ80 which is a better end of it. The 91, 92s were not the popular ones. It had a, it was a little under, underpowered with the 4.0 that that, that one had uh, inline six, but this one has the uh, inline six 4.5, making it a lot better because this one's always, it's always full, it's full time four wheel drive, making it a lot more, needs a lot more power. I got it for $2,000 from a friend of mine. Um, and yeah, it's pretty mint. It's got 211,000 uh, miles on it and uh, it seems like everything's good. Um, so yeah, we're out here, here with Victor, and I'm waiting for the other guys, for the three point slow gang to get here. So we can come out wheeling, it just rained, and obviously, it's super muddy. So we're just gonna have some fun for this episode. John, explain to the viewers, you don't you don't have four wheel drive, right? Yeah, I, I have four wheel drive, but since we just swapped out my transmission, I don't have my drive shaft on. Uh. Because the one that came with this transmission was like jammed up. Yeah. So when I tried to push it in and put it into the pumpkin, it didn't want to go in. Mm. That's it, Daddy. <laughs> oh my god, look at his tires. His tires are f***ing caked, bro. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs> hey, we got a cameraman. Yes. Beggars can't be choosers. Thank you, Andy. You're true. Slacking. <laughs> All right, so with this Land Cruiser, the plans for it are to basically just get a lift and tires. Uh, and that's it uh, for now. No rooftop tent, uh, no drawers, none of that. Okay, I want to keep this kind of just kind of stock in a way, like the bumpers keep them original. I, I love the bumpers and I have no problem with them. Uh, otherwise, I don't know, maybe later on I'll take them off. But for what we do, I mean, it's going to be a daily driver and the stuff that we do, I mean, It'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Dobinson suspension. Uh, I believe it's a three inch, the flexi coils with the long travel shocks they have. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some tread right tires on this 35s. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go all terrains or mud terrains, but we're gonna, be, it's gonna be one of those for sure. Um, I do wanna throw in a, a Yakima roof rack like I usually do. Just throw the bars on top just so I can float up. Uh, I have a bike rack you can put up there. And um, just basically maintenance, just to keep on the maintenance, make sure everything's good on it. Uh, there's a small leak that needs to be addressed. It needs an alignment, it really needs an alignment, really bad. Um, but other than that, it's been running great. I've already put like 500 miles of just daily driving in it, and it's going to be good.
how your battery battery came loose. Uh, I didn't even know I had an alarm. <laughs> it is fixed. <laughs> you want to try to crank it? You want your, your famous stick? <laughs> This is actually like the first time I put the Land Cruiser on four-wheel drive and I'm having a blast. Honestly, in stock form, how it is. And well, it's got some old uh, all-terrains on here. It's doing pretty good. So your second time coming up on the first try, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know about this thing, it's like a tank. <laughs> Something about it. I don't know, it's got like a... Uh, I love it. Wait, Jake. So what? What? The wheel lift? What? what it's scary. It's scary. It probably doesn't look like anything outside, but we'll get the GoPro footage on it. Yeah, Isaac. It was starting uh, to become a stench in the passenger seat there. Is that you, bro? Br brown stains. Brown stains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry about that. I accidentally turned off the camera before ending today. Um, so today was pretty fun in Jake Samurai and hanging out with Victor Villa, John, and David. So, definitely a good time at the mud pit. I uh, wish I had my truck, unfortunately I didn't. Um, so, catch y'all next time. All right guys, well, that's the end of this video. We just came out here to have fun, it rained, so instead of being at the shop where it's been super hot, came out here to have some fun. So, that's the new build that we're having here. Well, it's mine, but you'll see it on the videos. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, our video series. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's always this kind of content every week. Try to do it every week, uh, if there is. So, we'll see you on the next one. Before ending the episode, uh, I want to give a shout out to New Mexico Creep and Crawl. Thank you guys for supporting 3 Point Slow Gang and this channel, really means a lot. Uh, and also, uh, we're gonna be in Big Bend uh, National Park next week, first week of July, for a few nights. So if you see us out there, make sure you say hi. And uh, you're welcome to join us too. We're gonna be out there. So. Um, thank you guys for uh, watching, make sure you like this video, and we'll see you on the next one.